Hey everyone, Topher of Topher Spin Meteorites, rocks on the ground. <laughs> we are live at the Meteorite Mansion and uh, we decided not to go into town today and and uh, search for some meteorites. We decided to stay here at the, at the house. As you can see, it's a little bit cold out. The wind's blowing. We're expecting snow, I guess, is what I'm told. Um, luckily, we have enough firewood. Let me show you what's going on. Yeah. We have enough firewood to keep us busy. Yeah, the Airbnb we're at actually runs a firewood company. So, let's go check in. I got, uh, oh, it's really zoomed in. There we go. I got uh, something on the saw right now. It's pretty cool because it's my first, my first iron that I'm cutting. And it's the first iron that Chris Monk is cutting on his saw. So, and Chris Monk's an idiot. He's a wild man idiot. Look at, he's wearing shorts out here like he's at the beach. <laughs> so, I have Mundrabilla. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I have Mundrabilla on the saw right now. I don't even know what the uh, weight was before cutting. We just threw it on the saw. We're guessing it's like an 80, 85 gram Mundrabilla. And we're gonna have the um, etching night. Chris Monk from Rocks on the Ground is gonna do the etching night for us one of these nights. And this is the one I'm gonna be etching, one of them. Let's take a look at it. So this year it may be a stretch. It may be a stretch this year calling it the Meteorite Mansion. But there's the Meteorite Mobile Home. <laughs> uh, it's actually it needs a little bit of repairs and uh, an upkeep on it, but it's suiting our needs perfectly. And we have a lot of look at this space. Yeah. We're going to have uh, Oz Backman here in a few days with his cricket trailer. We have Jules back there. She can't hide. <laughs> oh, someone take a screenshot of this. This has got to be your screensaver right here. <laughs> There's Chris Monk. Oh, there's a nice rental. Right over there, I think, is a uh, Indian casino. Literally, <laughs> like I think that's it right there. That sign right there. That's. I think that's it right there. But yeah, uh, supposedly they have, supposedly they have uh, a special near happy hour of a juicy, oversized burger and a pile of fries for like eight bucks. So I think we might have to hit that place up because you can only have a Price Club pizza so often. <laughs> Let's take a look at what's going on over here. I'm super amped about cutting that uh, Mundrabilla. I've never cut an iron before, and, I'm, and this is going to be a nice time to etch it with someone who knows what they're doing. So we're all going to get a little bit of education, uh, learning how to learning how to um, prep and prepare meteorites for etching, and then to actually do the etching of them. Um, stay tuned. Later in the week, I'm going to do some uh, lives like this from uh, dealers, shows, uh, showroom floors, but we really have to wait until they get set up to do that. I want to stay out of their hair, give them as much time as they need to set up their room without bugging them. It's a huge job to set up for one of these shows. A lot of merchandise, a lot of displays. I just want to allow them to get set up. That way when we go in there, we can give them a good showing. Um, Aerolite has invited me to do a live broadcast from them. 
if there's someone that you want to see me visit, um, drop it in the comments and uh, we'll, we'll try to get out there and do a live from them. I'm going to be capturing video at a lot of places, but if you want me to do a live from certain places, let me know. Uh, let's go check my Mundrabilla. Whoop. And uh, now it's the impromptu interview time. Matt, can you hold that for a second? Yes. Can, I hope, hopefully they can hear us over the saw. But you bought, is it true that you bought a green meteorite yesterday? Yes, a very rare one. Yes. Which one was it, man? Ben Cubbin. I bought an 8.4 gram Ben Cubbin flight. That's amazing. Yeah, we were checking it, and you got an arrow, right? That's correct. The chondrules on that thing are just beautiful. They look like petrified wood. They have striations through them. Yeah. Really cool we're, under the microphone. We were talking about the silicates in the Ben Coven looking like, almost like uh, Albright. Albright, mm -hmm. yeah. Very similar yeah. color and texture. And that segmentitic sort of texture, yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's like the rarest thing that I've seen purchased yet uh, is uh, Ben Coven namesake. Ben Coven at namesake Ben Coven, so, yeah. As soon as he saw it, he, he just kind of, like, it had its own gravitational pull. <laughs> and he never really left it until he left the window. Jules saw it first, and she said, oh, Ben Coven, and I thought she meant Ben Covenite. And so I went and looked at it, and I was like, no, that's the deal. <laughs> All right, thank you. Well, thank you, Kat. Hmm? So that is my Mundrabil. Hey, I see Oz in the house. Oz, can you find a place for your cricket, buddy? We got enough space for you, don't we? <laughs> nice. Oh, Mark Lyon. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll be definitely doing a live from Mark Lyon's room. Um, the reason I say that here, let me try this. Yeah. I'm going to be doing a live from Mark Lyon's room, no doubt. He has two rooms. Um, so I, I like plugging my friends and helping them out here. So let me just go ahead and say that I believe I'm correct in saying Mark Lyon has a promo running all Tucson. And I believe it applies for you guys as well. Anything you buy that is displayed and offered at the show gets you offered into a drawing. And at the end of the show, he's giving away, I believe, a $4,000 uh, lunar, well, planetary set, lunar and Mars slice. So that's Mark Lyons meteorites. So see him for all the details. But I'm definitely going to go to the room that he's hosting with Ashley and then the room with uh, Roberto. Congratulations, Roberto Vargas. I cannot believe it, man. Muskogee, Muskogee Oklahoma. Found it. Way to go. 309 grams. This is this is what I love about the community. I'm friends with people who have no problem setting up their saw and letting me run my irons through it, and then teaching me how to uh, how to etch them. We got uh, other friends like uh, Jeff Notkin and uh, and uh, Beth Correa at uh, Aerolite inviting us in later uh, on. I, I'll officially announce it right here. You guys don't know, but on Friday, February 3rd at noon, the Meteorite Mansion VIPs are going to go on a guided tour of the Busick Center for Meteorite Studies vault, ASU's vault. So we will be there on Friday the 3rd. I'm probably not going to do a whole lot of live from there because it's very shielded building and the, the, the it's getting information data out is impossible. So I'm probably going to do a lot of filming and then make a video of that. I'm asking everyone in my crew that goes there to shoot video and take pictures and share them with me so we can put together a killer video so you guys can see inside the ASU vault with Lawrence Garvey. And for those of you that may not know, Lawrence Garvey is super enthusiastic about meteorites 
Uh, he can almost not ex not finish explaining what's awesome about this one. He reminds him, oh, hold on, let me go grab another one. He grabs another one. So he's super, super into the meteorites, and he's, he's a great tour guide. So lots of stuff coming up this week, guys. Next next two weeks, actually. Cassie Monk says, hello, husband. Hi, babe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, that is all for now from the mansion. This is just to see how it works, see if everything if everything goes all right. Let you guys know we made it here, and uh, the parties are commencing. It's Tucson show. Diaper up. <laughs>